Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about the 1989 film, The Suckling. Uh, my buddy Garrett, it just happens, weird interaction, but uh, I was friends with his brother years ago, and just so happens he popped up in this movie group I'm in on Facebook, and he is like suckling mad. He talks about the movie constantly, so uh, I, I didn't like it on first viewing, to be honest, and um, I think it was just kind of a... Um, poor taste type of film and I said you know what let me give it another shot Garrett talks about it all the time so I ended up re-watching it and then I enjoyed it way more picked it up and uh, watched it again last night with my buddy Brian so The Suckling is a again a, a film in poor taste sort of feels like a trauma movie um, it's about these this couple this young couple who goes to a brothel it's a house of prostitution and there's also an illegal abortion clinic in the brothel. And there's these weird characters around. Everyone's sort of like um, worse for wear and, you know, beat up. There's a lot of sleazy guys coming in, you know, sleeping with the prostitutes. Uh, some nudity, nothing crazy, but, you know, some nudity. And the boyfriend's really urging the girlfriend to get an abortion, and she doesn't want to do it. She wants to have the baby and put it up for an adoption. Well, I'm, I'm trying to ha how to say this without saying too much. Um, something happens at the facility, and a monster comes, and the monster overtakes the facility physically, like by blocking all the windows and the doors and stuff, the exits, and starts attacking people through the walls and the toilet and the sink and whatever else. And it's got pretty cool, cheesy, but pretty cool special effects for the time. And it looks, uh, well, actually, it's on the cover, so that's what it looks like. It's like a kind of like a misshapen skull with these huge vampire fang things. And um, it keeps getting bigger and growing as the movie progresses. And eventually, it's a person inside of a costume. And they're, you know, killing all these people. And then there's inner turmoil between the people trying to escape. One guy's like, screw this, I'm leaving. And he goes to leave and he gets killed. And um, one guy shoots another guy because they don't like each other. You know, one person kills themselves. So quickly it starts to dwindle down from like eight people to like four and then the movie continues. Um, there is a little bit of blood, you know, people getting shot and like blood sprays on the wall or someone gets cut open or something or the monster kills them. But it's not overtly crazy with the special effects. I mean, it's fairly limited, I guess, in that regard with the blood and stuff. It's, I don't remember seeing, like, organs or anything like that. But the monster special effects is pretty cool. And uh, I think they did, like, a cool job on the costume. Um, let's see here. It talks here about on the back about the other, the girls, the Johns, and the other assorted weirdos being trapped inside the brothel, which I have mentioned. And... It's a horror comedy from Francis Terry, and if I remember correctly, I don't know if Francis Terry did this movie, but it definitely has a similar feeling, and it has the same actress from this, um, Flesh Eating Mothers. So that was pretty cool, too. I like that one, but one of the mothers from Flesh Eating Mothers is in this. She's also in the scene in Goodfellas where the women are in the beauty salon, and she's saying about... Someone's talking about spitting on the floor, and when the FBI comes, why would someone spit on their own floor? Um, she's in that scene, so if you, you, you'll know who I'm talking about when you see her. Um, if you like trauma films, even though I don't think this is trauma, but if you like trauma films and really you know poor taste movies that are zany and over the top with some violence and gore, but sort of have a comedic side to them in that sense, I think you'll like The Suckling does touch upon some sensitive topics so if I got obviously takes place in an illegal abortion clinic so if stuff like that bothers you then I probably would skip it and that's about it it was pretty fun you know my friend Brian and I watched it last night as I said I asked him if he enjoyed it he said he had a good time and he thought it was you know zany and over the top and we laughed at a couple points so I would recommend the suckling I think uh, if you like bad B movies you can do far worse so let me know, guys, if you've seen this classic. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.